Okay, hello guys. So today I'm making um, kao yuk. Kao yuk or Chinese braised pork uh, or steamed pork. Uh, you know the red one you guys get that uh, when you go downtown or whatever. So uh, I'm making the recipe. The recipe I have is for five, uh, three, two and a half pounds. So I'm making, uh, I'm making, I'm sorry. The recipe I'm making is for six pounds, but the actual recipe is for three pounds. So I just doubling up everything, okay? So getting together everything real fast. So I get, um, I already get uh, eight pieces red bean curd inside this, the fermented red bean curd. It's a nam yu, yeah? And then I get two pieces of the yellow bean curd. So I'm gonna put four total. And this is called um, tofu mui, yeah? So I put it in four pieces total. Okay. But I will have the recipe for, uh, I'll have it for um, at the end of the video, okay? So don't mind me, I, anyway. Um, so now I put it in four tablespoon, four tablespoon brown sugar, okay? So, dark brown no matter one two and four okay now after the brown sugar um, I get uh, two star anise okay you know what is star anise yeah okay two star anise and I get four tablespoon all day hoisin yeah so Everybody know what is hoisin, so here we go. One. Four. Okay. So it's four tablespoon hoisin. And then I'm gonna put four tablespoon oyster sauce. Okay, so you know how you oyster sauce. So again, here we go. Like this one a little harder for get out, so. One, four. Okay, I put a little bit extra because you know stuck in a stuck in a spoon. Eh? Okay, so it's four tablespoon oyster sauce, and then I need one teaspoon or one teaspoon spice spice, the Chinese spice spice. Okay, so let me get that out and then uh, hang on. Let me clean the spoon off and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so. Um, getting back to what we was doing, I giving you, I need uh, one teaspoon total five spice, yeah? Okay, so that's about one teaspoon total. And then I need four cloves garlic minced. So I tell you what, right now, because of this stupid thing going on, we are shut down, I don't have four cloves of garlic. So I put in granulated garlic, okay? But I will equal that to four, or um, garlic cloves, okay? Okay, so you better use fresh garlic, but anyway, you understand what's going on. Okay, now what we're gonna do now is just kind of mince this up, I mean, mix this up, and this is your, this is your cow yuk sauce now, okay? Um, you can put red food coloring if you like, to make the thing look like real cow yuk, yeah? But then, nah, no need, you know. That's only extra stuff you gotta, artificial stuff. So, just um, mix this to the thing incorporated. And then we're gonna rub this on the pork. But first, we gotta prep the pork belly, okay? So, okay, so you kinda see this mixed up. Oh, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add About a teaspoon salt, okay, inside. Okay, Let's get that mixed up. Okay, so 
Let me get back to you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start uh, getting the pork prep. So what it is, is the pork belly, you like cut them into about three, three, uh, three inch strips. And then um, I'll show you, i show you when we get back, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what I did was, um, so I get this pork belly. I bought this from Costco. You guys, you know, Costco get good pork belly. So, but if you guys get a whole pork belly, just cut them into about um, one inch strips by however long the thing stay, yeah? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to parboil this. Um, so I get, uh, okay, so no mind the camera moving around. So I get uh, one pot filled water over here. It's about a gallon and a half of water, but I put about half cup sake inside. You don't need put the sake, but just for take out the, 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 the taste from the pork, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is I just gonna put all the pork belly inside, and I just gonna parboil for about, once the thing come up to a boil, just boil them for about 10 minutes, or not even 10 minutes, maybe even eight minutes, and you'll be good, you'll be good. And what we're gonna do is we, that's how we're prepping the pork. After we parboil the pork, then we're going to puncture the skin, give them one good frying with oil on the skin side down. Then we're going to cut them up, and then we're going to put them in the bowl for steam. So let me get I get back to you guys after I parboil the pork, okay? okay so I'll be okay, right as back. you can see, I get all the pork stay inside there now. Now, no laugh, but I was I was wondering why it wasn't coming to a boil, and I had the back burner on, and I get the stuff in the front. So <laughs> anyway. So, I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, boil for about five to eight minutes till you see the kind of scum come on the top, yeah? Then we're gonna take out the pork, dry them off, rinse them off, cool them down, and start poking the skin. So I'll show you that process in a little bit, all right? So I see you Okay, soon. hello guys. So okay, so we've been parboiling this for about uh, seven, eight minutes now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take them out of the pot, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash them. I'm going to run them on the cold water and I'm going to wash them. But just to show you guys the part boiling part, okay? Then as soon as I finish, wash the pork. You got to wash them good, okay? Just wash them, take off all the sediments and whatnot. And then, um, and then I'm going to show you guys how we go what's the next step in preparing this, okay? It's not that hard, but just take a little bit more time. But um, And of course, when you never have the fire on for the first 10 minutes, it take a little longer, right? But anyway... So, let me go put this under some water, let me wash this, and I get back to you guys, show you guys the next step, okay? So I dried up everything now, and um, so what I'm gonna do now is you're gonna start pricking your skin, cause you gotta fry this thing now. So just get one like one toothpick or whatever, strip away. And make sure you go deep into the skin, huh? Um, cause you want the fat to render, what you're doing is you're making it so when you fry this thing right now, the fat's gonna render out, okay? So, I'm getting one phone call right now. Okay, here we go. So, what I'm doing now is I just make sure I'm piercing the skin all the way around. Okay, so let me pierce all of this and um, show you what the next step is. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit, okay? Okay, guys, so I pierced the skin like I showed you before. Now I get on pan with hot oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these things down skin side down, okay? That's all you like is skin side down, okay? And we're gonna fry this thing till you get till you get uh, one nice uh, golden brown on the top, all right? And uh, and the skin is kind of crispy. You like the skin come kind of crispy because when you steam them, the thing not gonna break down as much. It's gonna be soft but not gonna break down. So let me get this thing fried up, and when the thing finish fry, I show you guys what you gotta look at, and we go through the next steps, okay? So just remember, hot pan, I get peanut oil inside there. You guys can use canola, vegetable oil. But um, uh, we're going to fry this thing only skin side down. Not going to turn them or anything. When I think it dark, uh, nice golden brown and crispy, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to um, put them in with ice bat. So I get an ice bat ready on the side, okay? So let me get these things fried up and I let's get back, get back to you guys, okay? See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So, um... I don't know, video looks kind of weird, but anyway, um, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking it out and I'm putting it straight into the ice bath, okay? See kind of the golden brown on the top, okay? 
So that's all we want now, right? A nice golden brown, pretty nice fat. Once we, once this thing cools down and everything, and I start to cut it up and marinate it, I'll give you, I'll be right back and show you guys what I'm doing. Okay? So just hang on. It'll be a bit, um, but I'll get back to you guys. So See you after bit. what I did was I, after I get it out of the ice bat, I just cut them into three sections, right? Then I still cut in across the grain. So I go in the long ways. And I throw them inside our bowl with our mixture inside, okay? Okay, it's kind of what it looked like, right? Okay, so when you guys get this all chopped up, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to marinate this, okay? So we just give it a good mix. Make sure all your pork is marinated. Get them all over. Let me get my sleeve a little bit up. Get them all over. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this sitting in this bowl for about 45 minutes. 30 to, it says 30 minutes, but 45 minutes will be all right. Um, just make sure it's all on every piece of the pork. Everything is all has something on it. You guys can stir it every once in a while. But let's keep it in there for about 40, 30 to 45 minutes. I'll get back to you in 45 minutes. Then I'll show you guys how to line this up and steam this. We're going to steam this for about three and a half hours, okay? So just get, like I said, make sure everything is covered. Everything is good. And we'll get back to you guys in a little bit. So we'll let this sit here marinating for about 45 minutes, okay? I'll, I'll get back to you guys soon. Okay, guys. So I got them all from marinated. I got them all lined up um, in one bowl. And I'm uh, just going to move them to the steamer. Now you guys can just make one bowl upside down for you guys, steamer or whatever. Whichever way work for you guys. We'll just get them in one steamer. I get them in one upside down um, 600, uh, 400 pan, inside one 600 pan. And then i just going to use one of my Schaefer covers. And I cover them up. Okay, so now we're gonna steam them for three hours and three, three and a half hours or two. The pork is super tender. You know how cow yolk is, right? It's uh, almost fall apart pork belly. And uh, when we get to that point, we show you guys the final product. One important thing you guys gotta remember is make sure your water don't run out, okay? When you guys steaming. So if you start to smell something burning, you know you ran out of water. So every once in a while, every half an hour, check your water, add water when you have to. Just don't let it run out. Especially if you guys at home, you guys will just gonna make a mess on your stove. So uh, make sure you guys don't run out of water and I check them every half an hour. And we're going to do this for about three, three, three hours, 15 minutes. That should be enough for have it all tenderized and um, cow yuk. Everybody love cow yuk. So I should see you guys in a little bit. I'll show you guys the finished product, okay? I'll see you folks in a bit. Okay, guys. So this is the finished product. Um, it actually took only two hours. I think I had the steamer going on pretty high, but uh, usually it takes three at home. But I'm in my um, one of our one of our commercial kitchens, so um, since I didn't have much to do today, since we're all locked up and everything, I figured I'd make you guys some cow yolk. But um, I already put some out. It's actually it's, it's so it's super tender. It's fall apart tender already. Um, like I said, home, it usually takes around three hours, but like I said, maybe I cut it a little thinner and and uh, I had the steamer on really high, so. But anyway, uh, you folks give this recipe a shot. You know, cow yuk, we grew up with cow yuk. Um, and it's a taste of home, or even if you're at home, just give it a shot. You know what I mean? You know, since no more Chinese restaurants open right now. Also, you guys can use pork butt. Um, I know a lot of people and a lot of Chinese restaurants back home in Hawaii, uh, they use pork butt so you can do that but instead of steaming it in a bowl kind of just braise it in your pot with with the um, with the sauce and maybe we'll uh, make another video with that um, it does you know when you guys get it served it's already nice the kind so I just have it I still have it in the steaming sense so don't you know it still kind of looks messy but anyway um, the flavor is there the flavor is just what you remember back home or what you always remember now. Um, like I said, if you want to use pork butt, you can buy all means just braise it in the pot instead of steaming it. And uh, 
give this one a shot yeah i want to thank you guys um say a big mahalo for all the subscribers so far i know we're getting there slowly um but i appreciate all of you folks subscribing and uh giving it a like and whatnot um i hope we get more subscribers as we go along the way but i'll try and put out a little bit more videos as time goes on too i know i haven't been but i've been super busy so anyway you folks take care out there um you guys always stay blessed you know god and jesus got everything taken care of and um we shall see you folks in the next video um I'll, like i said i'll try and get one a little faster all right call you up guys you guys gonna love it I'll give it a shot super easy it just takes a little time but it's super easy all right stay blessed we shall see you folks again in the next video and uh aloha